I have literally found the 10 easiest ways to make passive income online. And some of these ways I literally did to make $346,000 in net commissions. And it's not just me, if you literally go ahead and look at way number three, the easiest way, you literally have someone like, for example, Gary, make $13,000 in a single month. Now let's go over the first way. The first way is drop shipping on eBay and Walmart. Now I remember when I did this back in the day, I would literally go ahead and go to places like ebay.com. And as you can see, this one gazebo thingy was sold for about $827. But little did I know that some of these products can actually exist on Walmart for hundreds of dollars cheaper. Does that make sense? So essentially while I was a broke college student, living off of the ramen noodle diet, living off of the dollar menu diet, I would go ahead and copy and paste pictures from Walmart to eBay and I would literally just go ahead and wait for a sale. Essentially I would take a product that I did not own from Walmart, I would copy it onto eBay, and when I would make the sale on eBay, the customer would actually give me the money, and then I would literally go ahead and take that money from eBay buy it at Walmart at a lower cost, and then ship it directly to the customer without any of my own money. And this is what people don't understand when it comes to making passive income. You don't actually need money sometimes. Sometimes, instead of where other things are telling you to buy low and sell high, what if you were gonna go ahead and do the opposite and exactly sell first, make the money, and then buy low, and then turn that into passive income. I was doing this to the point where I was making like about $100 a day profit. Now the second way is starting a blog, and if you don't know how to start a blog, you can literally go ahead and go to mikevasile.com forward slash blog, but it's very simple. The crazy thing about a blog is you literally have people like, for example, making sense of sense, make $104,000 in September working from home. Now you're probably wondering exactly how they go ahead and do that. Well, the thing about a blog is you're creating content. The thing about content, it's like digital real estate. And if you can find a way to go ahead and develop digital real estate and own the plot of land online and actually make money from that land, you can essentially rent out that land to other businesses and other products and have them pay you money for it. Now check this out, it's very simple. Like if you go ahead and create content, you can go ahead and use Canva. Canva, you could go ahead and essentially create these pinnable images. And this is literally what I did to go ahead and grow my Pinterest and my blog on Pinterest to thousands of followers and getting views to all of these blog articles kind of similar to like how this person did it. Literally anybody could go ahead and do it. And again, all you gotta go ahead and do is go to mikevasile.com forward slash money blog and I go over an entire tutorial on exactly how to go ahead and do that. Essentially what I would do is I would find the things that I would like talking about. Like let's say I wanna go ahead and talk about journaling, right? So I would type in journal. Oh look at this. Do you see all of these things that pop up? This is Pinterest essentially telling me that this is what people are looking for on Pinterest for blog articles. So if I could go ahead and create content based around this on my blog because I listened to Mike Vasile and I went through his mikevasile.com forward slash money blog and I got this website up and running, I could essentially then turn that into a pin on Canva and then use that to go ahead and for example, rank for the keywords on for example, Pinterest. And this is what it is. Every single time that you're creating content, you're essentially developing plots of land, developing plots of land, but digitally. And it's the people that develop the plots of land with creating content are the ones that make the most money. But I hear you, you're probably wondering, well Mike, I don't wanna go ahead and create content. I don't wanna go ahead and write blog articles that no one will ever read. I don't wanna go ahead and show my face on camera. Is there a better method where I can go ahead and essentially create passive income where I don't actually have to show my face on camera or create content? Well, my friends, I'm so glad that you asked that because the sponsor of today's video is way number three, the silver lining method, where we literally have people, where they're able to go ahead and make money without creating content. Like I said, you literally have someone like, for example, Gary, make 13 grand in a single month without creating content, without doing all of the e-commerce or the drop shipping or any of that Amazon stuff, without having to actually go ahead and do any of the hard work, without actually having to have any risk. And how he was able to go ahead and do that is instead of him starting his own business, he was able to use the silver lining method to essentially partner with businesses that pay him huge commissions with no risk to him. It's completely brand new, and if you wanna know exactly more about the brand new Silver Lining Method, then make sure you sign up for the free workshop below or go to mikevasteel.com forward slash free workshop. Now the fourth way is ClickBank affiliate marketing. Now I did this back in the day, literally on ClickBank. I went from like zero to eight grand in 30 days. It was also another great way, as you can see in 2018, zero to eight grand in 30 days. Now the reason why I like ClickBank affiliate marketing is because you don't need your own product. You don't need your own service. You don't need to actually focus on creating something that converts. Now, one of the hardest things that I did when it first came to like, for example, creating passive income online or making money is because I wasn't the smartest person in the world, because I wasn't really good at sales and marketing and all that stuff, I had no idea exactly how to create products. Like my background is Asian. I was supposed to be a dentist, right? I had no idea how to do all of these things. So when I was getting started and making money, it was extremely difficult because of the fact 
that I just didn't know exactly how to actually make it, right? And when I started realizing that I could partner with other people who already had products, I could just sell that and they could help me sell that, that's exactly how I could go ahead and make money. Now, as you can see, some of the top offers right now are paying people $134 per commission per sale. You need help with that. We literally have a bunch of ClickBank affiliate marketing tutorials on my YouTube channel, but you can see it actually works pretty well. The next one is AI voices with YouTube apps. YouTube apps, yes, AI voices with YouTube apps. As you can see right here, with YouTube apps, you don't actually, let's just keep on saying YouTube apps. So with YouTube apps, you don't need to actually show your face on camera. You could literally go ahead and create a video like this. Check this out. If you're suffering from cataracts, diabetic retinopathy, macular degeneration, glaucoma, blurred vision, or any other- That was just made from AI voices. And check this out. Four, five, five million views on this YouTube app that essentially is selling products from ClickBank. Now that's the craziest thing. It's like content, but you're not essentially using your own face or your own voice because you're using artificial intelligence. Does that make sense? And it's actually very simple to go ahead and do this. You could go ahead and upload scripts on lovo.ai, realistic AI voices that captivate your audience. And then what you could essentially do is go and create the video on invideo.io and essentially have that be the thing that kind of creates the B-roll. Now what B-roll is, every single time you see something in the back end, award-winning scientific discovery, it creates some type of B-roll or video in the back end to essentially match the word that the script is saying. Does that make sense? And as you can see, just with those two things along, you could go ahead and start running YouTube apps. You can start running YouTube apps, guys. Now the next one is starting a YouTube channel. The reason why I like a YouTube channel is because if I fail, I succeed. If I succeed, I still succeed. Does that make sense? Like, do you understand that where we are moving is personality driven? Does that make sense? I was consulting with the company the other day. They do like multiple six figures every single month. And their biggest problem is no one's buying their product. And then I looked at their entire sales process and I realized, oh, it's because there's no person, no attractive character, no personality for that person to actually bond with. And what most business are doing, even like the big businesses, they're now creating personalities in each of their companies. Personalities where people like you and I can essentially go ahead and for example, bond with because they're more relatable. Does that make sense? So one of the biggest things that has changed my life forever was when I realized I need to go ahead and just make as much content, make as much content, make as much content. I don't care. Like if you literally go ahead and look back at my YouTube channel, I've literally tested every single way of making content from like wearing a suit to even like looking at podcasts. Even if you look at like my playlist, there was a moment in time where back in the day I was just vlogging about me trying to go ahead and pick up girls in, for example, like Spain. Like look at any one of these Bali diaries or my travel vlogs. I just knew that if I focus on building a personal brand, if I focus on just putting content out there, luck will be on my side and it has, right? So this is why it's something that's just, I always preach about because not only, not only is that like really freaking cool, but you can see from just like AdSense alone, we literally go ahead and make anywhere from like 35 grand to 46 grand every single month. So as you can see, just start a YouTube channel. Just, just figure it out, just do it. And then you can try the YouTube apps right after that. Now the next one is mid journey to Etsy and Printful. Now here's the thing, people are kind of like crazy about their identities as well as wearing t-shirts. In fact, there's a lot of people out there that want to go out and buy t-shirts with their favorite things on it. Let's for example, take a cat. Now, as you can see, you literally have Etsy right here. If I type in cat t shirt. What this shows you is people are essentially searching for this, right? Meaning if you could create a product and rank for this on Etsy with the cat t-shirts, you could essentially go ahead and make money. But you're probably wondering, well, Mike, how do you actually go ahead and afford all the t-shirts? Like, do you have any t-shirts? Do I need any inventory? Do I need any physical inventory? No, you do not. Because what you can actually do is connect Printful with Etsy. And the cool thing about Printful is they have all of the products. They'll do the shipping, the handling, all of that stuff. Look at that. They connect with Etsy. And you could see that they have all of these products from like sports bras to, for example, jackets to water bottles. And essentially what you could do is you go ahead and put designs on your Printful account, send it over to Etsy. If you go ahead and make money, you go ahead and make a sale. Check this out. This Catzilla thing. Let's just pull this bad boy up right here and actually let put up this, per, for example, person's account. Pie shirt. Look at this person. 7,000 sales. 7,000 sales. Are you freaking kidding me? And you're probably wondering, well, Mike, I'm not an artist. Well, you can literally go to mid journey, ask this AI robot exactly to make you something. And look at this, make a drawing of a dream catcher with feathers on it in the style of McDonald's punk detailed cross hatching folk native wrapped all of these things. Look at this. This was made by AI, right? You could go ahead and ask this thing to go ahead and create any type of picture that it is that you want. Take the picture in the image, upload it on a printful, throw it up on Etsy, make some damn money.
All right, now we got Mid Journey to Merch by Amazon.com. It's the exact same thing, but with Amazon. You know, every single day people are going to Amazon and typing in cat t-shirts. Look at this. Cat t-shirts for women, cat t-shirts for men. Take the exact same thing that you took on Mid Journey, that you're throwing up on Etsy, throw it up on Amazon too. It's free. You could literally get started. People are complaining there's no way to go ahead and make money online. There's an infinite amount of ways to go ahead and get started. Merch.amazon.com, upload your artwork. I'm not an artist. Mid Journey, so just a list price. We print once sold. Fast shipping prime. Earn monthly royalties. The next thing is nine, ChatGPT to Amazon KDP. Now back in the day when I was living in Thailand, I met this guy and this guy essentially was making money selling eBooks on Amazon about werewolf love stories. And I was like, oh, you're making money with werewolf love stories on Amazon, please. Tell me more. And he told me, I actually make 10 grand a month selling werewolf love stories on Amazon. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You're selling on Amazon werewolf love stories and you're not even writing the, the love stories? He's like, no, I have a bunch of Filipinos essentially writing it for me. And I'm like, huh, that's crazy. Well, now you don't need a bunch of mini me's or Filipinos like me to go ahead and write your eBooks. What you can use is something as simple as chat GPT. Write me. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and write that prompt. So that's a five page thing. You can literally go ahead and tell ChatGPT to write a 10 page thing, a 50 page thing, a 60 page thing, a 100 page thing. Have them create those ebooks, throw it up on Amazon. KDP or KDP.amazon.com, create a free ebook and paperback book for free with Kindle Direct Publishing and reach millions of readers online through Amazon. And the last thing, index funds. Now this is kind of like the main goal when it comes to making passive income. This was my goal. I just thought if I can make $100 a day in passive income, what does that actually mean? Because worst case scenario, if I fail at everything in life and I just suck and no matter what I do, I can't make money. At least I could live off of $100 a day, move back to Thailand, go back to my apartment, live off of coconuts and pad thai and thai food for the rest of my life. So I always thought, what would that worst case scenario be? If I really wanted to go ahead and make passive income, I would always need to begin with the end in mind and invest in things like index funds or take all the ideas that I literally just did and throw it in index funds. Because if I wanted to live off of $100 a day, multiply that by 365 days a year and divide that by 0.04, which is essentially the safety withdrawal rate that you could go ahead and pull out from your index fund and go ahead and essentially live off of that for the rest of your life, assuming that the index fund grows 10% because this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. I would theoretically only need $912,000 invested in an index fund where I can pull out $100 a day and live off of Pad Thai every single day for the rest of my life.